Hi, I'm O.L. Spragan Jr., editor of the Christian Index, the official organ or means of communication of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Our focus for today is John chapter 15 and verse 1. In the King James Version, it reads, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. The vine is the source of life and productivity, but the branches bear the fruit. In this statement, Jesus reveals five things. First, he establishes the truth of his divinity and the relationship that, that exists between himself and the Father. Second, Jesus says he is the true vine. The purpose of a vine is to bear fruit, but the fruit is not actually produced by the vine. The fruit is actually produced by the branches that are attached to the vine. The vine is attached to the ground and provides nutrients to the branches through which the fruit is nourished and grows. By analogy then, Jesus is and provides all that we need to grow both as individuals and as a church. In order to be productive as a church and to grow as a church, we must focus not on the fruit, but on Jesus. As we learn who Jesus is and strengthen our faith in him, he promises to feed us with the Spirit and thus produce fruit through us. Third, the very mention of a true vine implies there is a false vine. Anything used to produce fruit that does not seek first and foremost to glorify Jesus is a false vine. Fourth, the branches that are uh, there on the vine are extensions of the vine. They do just what their name implies. They branch out. And as they extend, the fruit comes. Though the branches bear the fruit, the vine gets the credit. Further, the vine determines where the branches will be produced. Fifth, the vine does not prune itself. Neither do the branches determine the time of their existence. The vine dresser does these things. Unproductive branches are removed, and productive branches are pruned, cleansed of impurities, so they may bear more fruit. Jesus wants us to bear fruit and will give us his presence and power through the Holy Spirit to ensure that we do just that. The Father approves us as we bear spiritual fruit, approves us as acceptable, and will work on us so that we'll bear even more fruit. We can glorify the Father and the Son if we live in the Spirit. Let us pray. God, thank you for bringing us into Jesus and nourishing us with the Word by the Spirit. Forgive us for our sinful ways and tendencies. Continue to develop within us a desire to receive you and help us to glorify you through our life and work as a church and as individuals as we join in the saving mission of Jesus the Christ. Amen.